Do you know how much you're worth on a day-to-day -day basis? How much is your net worth right now and how much are you worth for the entire amount of time that you've worked your entire life? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a little short exercise. This is one of the coolest things I, I did. I mean, years ago, I worked this out. I worked out a whole system on how much am I actually worth today, right? And how much reward have I got for like So in other words, how well are you doing with your money? Because a lot of people look at it and go, oh, I've got my house, it's nearly paid off, I've got a car, I've got this, I've got that, you know, and you look at it, this material shit. But have you ever sat down and looked at the time and effort that you've put in, the amount of money that you've earned, the amount of hours that you've put in to really nail it down as to what you're actually worth on, a, on an hourly basis? I'm gonna give you this little strategy shortly, it's gonna teach you how to do that. And the reason I wanna do this is because most people need a reality check. Most people need to get a really good grip on what the hell they're doing, how they're operating and how they're facing. Because here's what I see with a lot of tradies that I deal with, okay? They don't have a game plan. They've got no strategy. They're just winging it day to day, week to week. And they hope by paying off your house, you're sitting there looking at it going, oh, I only owe 300 grand on my house. And you think that's freaking good. Oh shit, I owe 500, but oh, I'm down to 200. Well, I've only got 200 to go. If you keep seeing that and keep focusing on that, folks, that makes it hard, it makes it stressful, it just keeps dragging you out. So here's what I'm, here's what I'm about to show you. Check and this out. Here we go. Here's what I want you to do. Grab a pen and paper. Do this now. Go and get a piece of paper and a pen, all right? I want you to sit and do this exercise with me. Get your phone and have a calculator beside you, okay? And work this out. Let's go. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna presume that someone here is 40 years of age, just to, for this example, right? So you're 40 years old, okay? So write down your age, whatever that might be. How long have you been working? Well, in this instance, I'm gonna presume this person's been working for 20 years, okay? So 40 years old, been working for 20 years. I'll just go slow with this so it's really simple. Get it? Okay. Now, what's your asset base? In this example, I've said 800 grand. So your asset base. Your house, how much is your house worth? How much super have you got? How much is your car worth? Or maybe it's your silly ute that you've gone and paid 80 grand for. I hope not though, if you're watching this, I think you're more sensible. Um, what other assets do you own that are worth money, okay? So tally those assets up. So in this example, I'm just gonna keep this really simple. The assets we've got here is 800,000. Then you wanna look at how much debt do you currently have, okay? So how much is your mortgage? How much are your personal loans? How much is your car debt? How much is your credit card debt? Where do you owe money? Do you owe money to the ATO? How much debt do you currently have? In this example, I'm gonna give it really simple, 400,000, okay? So in this example, this person's net worth is $400,000, 400 grand, okay? So you're gonna cash out, sell all your assets, cash in, pay off all your debt, you're left with 400,000, all right? Making sense? Now you need to work this out. This person worked for 20 years, okay? Remember I said, 40 years of age, started work when they were 20, so they've worked 20 years. 20 years times 48 weeks, this is where you need your calculator, work out how many years you've worked. I'm gonna say you've worked 48 hours of the year, I'm gonna presume that you have a four week holiday, which I know a lot of people don't, but let's presume you do. And I'll also presume that you've worked 40 hours per week. Now, tradies in the building industry, it's a 56 hour week, four tens and two eights. I get it, you're working mainly Saturday. Some of you are working seven days a week. Some of you are working 10, 12 hour days, all right? Should be way more than this, right? But I'm just giving you this as a basic example. So in this example, this person's worked for 20 years and they've worked 38,400 hours of their life. <laughs> you ever thought about it? 38,400 hours of your life you spent working making some other prick rich, right? But here's what you wanna do now. Your 400,000, which is your net worth up here, remember, you had $800,000 of assets, you had 400,000 of debt, your net worth is 400 grand. 400,000, I want you to divide that by the number of hours you work, which is 38,400. Here's the answer. This is what you're gonna get. $10.41, this person has worked 
20 years of their life. And for every hour that they have worked, their net worth is $10.41 for every single friggin' hour. Now, <laughs> can, I, can I tell you something? That example is pretty bloody generous because the average person that I do this process with when they first meet me, when I take them through a session like this, the average person here is around about $7.50 per hour. Now, you want some more bad news? <laughs> because it doesn't get much better. How about if you change this figure here, the number of hours you work per week, this one here, there, right? What if you change that to 56? What if you added in travelling time to and from work? Some of you are an hour on the road each day, hour and a half on the road, two hours on the road. I mean, start to add it up. I want to get the reality check into you here. I want you to understand, no matter where you think you're at in life, if you think that figure is a pretty good friggin' return for the amount of time, effort, blood, sweat and tears that you've put in, I think you're kidding yourself. So folks, people always tell me, I want to live a comfortable life, Tony. When I get to retirement, I want to be well off. People don't want to be super duper millionaires and own 500 properties and all that bullshit. But what they want is they want a comfortable life. They want to give their kids a good head start in life. They want to help their kids go forward in life. Well, let me tell you this. If you're not doing too well with your money, if you're not doing too well with your day-to-day -day expenses, if your number's down here around seven, eight, nine, ten bucks for every hour that you've worked, you see, Here's the challenge for working families and tradies are out there working, trying to get ahead in life. This is what the biggest problem is. You're trading time for money. You're trading time for money. So for every week that you work, tax department grabs two days pay and says, thank you, I'm popping it, that's for me, that's for me, little greedy tax man, he's gonna take two days off you. That means you've got butter all left to work out over here. How the hell do I use my money? So the message in this video is pretty freaking simple. You have to learn to make your money grow. You have to learn how to invest your money. You will never, ever, ever save your way to wealth. There is not one wealthy person on the planet who said, mate, I've saved a million bucks. It's not gonna happen, folks. The other challenge you've got while you're trying to pay off a house, you're having a bit of super, you've got no security on your super. So the message again is, you have to get smarter with your money. You have to know how to put your money into assets that build and grow. I've been like a broken record for 20 years, but I'm trying to explain to people that if you're following this same old path, if this is your path, if this is your journey up today and you've spent 20 years, I do have some good news for you. I've got some good news for you. You've still got a bit of time left. Not a lot. As we know, <laughs> the older we get, the faster time seems to grow. It only felt like yesterday the kids were born. Shit, now we've got the kids and nearly go, we're going to a 21st, right? Time flies, folks. Time flies. Time is your biggest asset. Time, <clears throat> time and what you do with your money is your biggest asset. So you have to sit and think if you're in your 40s. What if you're in your 50s doing this and you've worked something like 60,000? I mean, the average person, right? We'll work around about, I figured it out, it was around 94,000 hours if they work up to 65 or 67. 95,000 hours of your life, not including overtime, not including travel. Whew, add it up, right? Folks, please, do that, do that exercise. Get a reality check and sit and ask yourself, shit, am I really doing well with my money? Could I do better with my money? How can I make my money grow? But here's the key question that'll probably help solve this whole issue for you. Who can I get to help me? Who can help me? Who can show me? Who can teach me? Who can take me from where I am today? 10 lousy bucks an hour. Who can take me from there and show me how to make that 20? Who can show me how to do better with my money? Who can show me how to invest in assets that build and grow? So the answer is this. Number one. Why do you want to do it? Well, I'll tell you why. Most people want to live a good, happy, comfortable retirement. That's what they want. Most working families, I know that. And then how can you help your kids out? If you get that bigger why about the driver wanting it, doing it, feeling it, going, mate, this is what I'm shooting for, you will take the time and effort. But right now, 
Most people are too busy working, too busy putting all their time, energy and effort into your boss, into your employers and making somebody else rich that you're not even putting time into your own life, into your own future, folks. I know that's a bit of a shocker for most people when we do this one. It's a reality check. I hope it just gives you a bit of impetus, a bit of drive to at least take one step. Investigate what you think you can do. Get some knowledge, get some education. Start to learn this stuff because look, a bank won't teach you, a government won't teach you, schools won't teach you, right? You have to figure this out. You have to get someone around you, people around you who can help. That's how I broke free. I had people come along and teach me. I paid coaches, teachers, mentors. Show me how to get out of this shit. Show me how to get out of this crazy rat race. I couldn't get out of it. Show me how to do it. Folks, I hope that's helped you out. I hope it gives you a bit of an insight into how you're traveling. I hope you're doing way better than that. I seriously do. But if you're not, it's not too late. Work out a game plan on what you can do and how you can do it. If you want some help, please connect with us here. We'll give you a um, you know a pathway to freedom strategy call. Jump on and get our starter investor kit, wherever you might be seeing me. Um, there'll be a link somewhere where you get on to us at yourpropertyinvesting.com.au and let's see if we can help you guys, help everybody move forward. Okay, folks? All right, that's that for today. It's a short, sharpy one, but do the exercise. I'll talk to you soon.